A 10 News Morning Original. New reporting, first at 6. Happening today, widespread power outages during wildfires could soon become a thing of the past thanks to new technology from SDG&E. 10 News reporter Jared Aaron's live in the 10 News Live Center. So, Jared, how does it work? It's pretty good news, guys. You know how SDG&E sometimes has to cut power in some areas on those dry, windy, high fire danger days? Well, today they're going to unveil a new tool that lets them localize those power outages to just a smaller area instead of an entire line. It's just one of the new safety measures they have planned for what's coming up as the peak of fire season. When high fire danger in Descanso leads to power outages, Tina Matranga's first priority is her garage door. If my electricity is off, it has to be opened manually. So when I hear anything like that, the first thing I do is I go get my car out of the garage and I go down and I open my gate. It's frustrating for Matranga, especially because a lot of the time she doesn't see the heavy winds that SDG&E says lead to the need for an outage. I live on a property that has 100 oak trees, and if the oak trees aren't blowing and they, and they send me a message that says, due to high winds, we're going to turn your power off. Now as September starts and fire season reaches its traditional peak, SDG&E has a new tool to sectionalize their circuits and only cut power where the danger is highest. So pretty much we're isolating customers that are not impacted by some of the most extreme fire danger and um, not impacting them with outages like before. That's not all. After a series of town halls, the company decided to open community centers that people can use during the power shutoffs. Maybe these centers that we will open up in their community might help them also, you know, get charging stations, get water, get snacks, and get up-to-date information on what's going on. And this year, the company will also have access to this Hillitanker air crane year-round, thanks to a new contract. They've already had more calls for it this year than in all of 2017. All this makes backcountry residents like Matranga feel safer. Anything that helps anybody else helps me. Uh, SDG&E has a news conference planned for later this morning to show how everything will work and also talk about the rest of their plans for the upcoming fire season. In the Live Center, Jared Aarons, 10 News. All right, Jared, thank you very much. Yeah, because, Megan, it's only a matter of time before we see those Santa Anas. I know.